Most recent internet privacy news, Google is cutting its web tracking, which further advances efforts to increase privacy across the internet. Before that, Apple's iOS 14 update was a pretty big deal because it gave users the option whether they want to be tracked or not in a literal yes or no window. So with people believing their online activity is just oh so sacred, like what are you guys doing? So here's something we can do as marketers and entrepreneurs alike, where we don't have to lean and rely so much on the cookies and the web tracking. I wake up, flex, I'm down now, check, no drip, this, what? tell them run it up, no sleep, no rest. Hi, my name is CM Williams, video strategist and digital marketing consultant, and today we're going to talk about how you can reach the right people even though we aren't exactly being spoon-fed a clear and concise target audience anymore. How do we put our solutions in the faces of people with problems we can solve even though those people have turned off their SLS signal. Well, let's not forget that marketing was around long before Google web tracking, cookies, and social media pixels. It's time to step up and do the very things other marketers are always preaching, and that's stepping up the relationships between companies and their customers. Stepping up our content marketing, stepping up our social media presence, and just overall putting forth more effort to improve our SEO. Here are a few ways we can do that, and we'll start with your quality backlinks and affiliate marketing. Backlinks, if you aren't familiar, is like when someone say they write an article on their site and they recommend you and they put a link to your site on there. This happens pretty often with say, let's say you have a supplement and there's this fitness blog or this fitness website with recommendations on the best pre-workout. And if they recommend your pre-workout and put a link to your website, that's a backlink. It's a form of affiliate marketing and affiliate marketing is pretty much reaching out to the people, the communities, the brands that your target audience listens to and having them advocate your brand, advocate your product, advocate your service. So yeah, it's time to start reaching out to these people. If someone has a popular gaming page and there's a brand that sells gaming accessories, that company can reach out with the person that has sort of the viral or high follower account on their gaming page and say, hey, we like to partner with you fill out our affiliate form. Here's a link to where they can pretty much get paid a percentage of the sales whenever someone uses their code or their link to buy that product. And so here you literally aren't having to track anyone's web activity. You're going straight to the source. You can have them advocate for you. And so again, with that said, reach out to those people, those communities, those brands, and then even go as far as reach out to your webmaster. And if that's you, that's fine. But um, set up a landing page on your site just for affiliate marketing. You'll need a place on your site that houses those relationships with those affiliates. Another way to combat the new privacy practices are to change your voice. And what I mean by that is not to like change the pitch of your voice, but like make your content, whether you're writing it, whether it's a podcast, whether it's a video, more conversational. Speak to your audience the way you would speak to people. Voice of your content determines the vibe of your content in your content marketing. And content marketing is pretty much any content you make that brings value to an audience to build a brand. You don't have to be so academic and so formal with your writing, with your speech, with your podcast, what have you. Talk to your people the way you talk to people. They're all people. Be casual. We're not really living in a formal, academic sort of advertising world anymore, so you can cut the formal BS out now. It's 2021. Next is picking up the pace of your content creation. I know, actual work. Or is it? I encourage you to take some of those ad dollars and allocate it toward hybridizing your workflow and your staff. A hybridized staff is basically a staff that consists of both local employees and remote employees, or full-time employees and freelancers or contractors. And in this case, I'm talking about the latter. You and your staff can't do it all and some. Or you and your staff are busy with your day-to-day. -day. That may mean you kind of post at a pace or post content at a pace that's manageable. But if you're having to kick it up a notch, just posting things when it's manageable may not necessarily mean that's the pace that's gonna get you results. So allocate some of that marketing budget to some people who offer content creation services, like your freelance graphic designers, your videographers, your editors, your copywriters, professionals that are gonna help you pick up the pace and get your results outside of just web tracking. These professionals can help you get things done. They can help you bank content and allow you to schedule out your post. And this especially works really well for one-off campaigns. These are people you don't have to offer benefits to that you don't have to pay forever. And paying them is just an investment towards your campaign that you're expecting a return on the investment on. So in a nutshell, get help. 
Something else you can do is improve your brand relationship with your customers. While Google is cutting web tracking, it still has its ways of determining a company that has good brand relationships. So for starters, you'll want to make sure that your company website is linked to a Google My Business account. Be sure there's a local number on your site, a local number or a tracking number. Just try to steer clear from 800 numbers. And take a look at your About Me page. How much information is on your About Me page about your employees and your company values? Having a strong About Me page with good employee information and good company values is one way to up your game with your brand relationships. I always recommend having a video on the About Me page coupled with the write-up showcasing who the employees are, what they do, and why they're qualified to be in their positions. You'll wanna gather your reviews, your good reviews, and make sure they're all in the right sites. Your Yelps, your Trustpilot, Glassdoor, Google itself. So if you need to, reach back out to some of your former customers and see if you can get a review from them on one of those mediums. If you wanna kill two birds in one stone and really make your customer happy and really up your brand relationship, you can offer a gift in exchange for this review. Gift, a promo, a coupon, and then they'll absolutely make sure that they give you a good review. And similar to backlinks, a website can mention you without actually linking their readers to your website. And when that happens, that's called citations rather. And the more citations you have scattered about the internet, this demonstrates to Google that you're a legit and trustworthy business with a known and respected brand. Lastly, I'm gonna say it every time, social media presence engage 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 with your audience be active don't just post and go about your day post and then have conversations with people that you think would be interested in you being their service or their product even converse with other industry partners just be active on social media and people find it pretty cool when a company or brand responds to them when lets you know you're actually listening and taking in the opinions and problems of your customer. So although Google can't legit look at your brand relationships and judge you based on that per se, it does have its ways of measuring sort of the byproducts of good brand relationships. And these byproducts of brand loyalty are the very things that are gonna help you get ranked higher and improve your SEO efforts. Last but short, I already know that there are many marketers and business owners who have been kind of stuck in this loop of only promoting and advertising and engaging on Instagram, Facebook, and Google itself. I'm here to encourage you to venture out. Also go consider Pinterest and TikTok. Pinterest is the social media platform of inspiration. So I encourage you to start a business page on Pinterest and uh, start pinning your blogs, pinning your products, what have you, and getting those shared across Pinterest to increase your marketing efforts. Set that Pinterest page up and then get trendy. Jump on TikTok. Loosen up, put on your dancing shoes, learn how to lip sync, post fun, relatable content that ties back to your brand. This is a great time to learn new ways. We can't get stuck in our ways or we'll be left behind. As time moves, things are gonna change. So we have to continue to pivot and adapt to the new ways of the market. And these companies, when it comes down to it, they still want money from advertisers. So Google is still working on a way, a way to track activity that's comparable for both the consumer and the marketer slash advertiser. That's it for this one. Share this video with a friend in need, like and subscribe, and then comment below if this video uh, helped you out anyway. Let me know how. And if you plan to change up your marketing efforts in any way, please let me know how too. And until next time.